Hey everyone, Ben here from Casco Bay Studios in Electro Toyco. This is Mission Control Apollo Edition. Let's take a look. Three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. The basic idea is the same as my spatial control centers. You got lights, switches, countdown timer, and cool audio clips from real space missions. But this time, I went all in with the Apollo theme. And this one features a keypad for punching in codes that activate animations or audio clips, command module style metal switch guards, a selector switch to let you launch the Saturn V of the lunar module. This model also has a rechargeable lithium ion battery for hours of unplugged fun. And of course, everything is powered by an Arduino. In this case, a Metro from Adafruit. We'll be back right after this. If you think this dog is cute, please subscribe. Pip, look over here. Okay, we're back. The three main parts of the control center are the switches and LEDs, the keypad, which is meant to be reminiscent of the Apollo guidance computer interface, also known as the DISCI, which is short for display and keyboard, and the launch windows, vehicle selector, and go button. Here we have three toggle switches that activate colorful LEDs, the main power switch, which is illuminated red, and a potentiometer that controls the LED bar graph power meter. As usual, if you go too high on the power, you get the overload bugs that take over the display. Go away, bugs. The bar graph also shows random screen savers and is used to in the countdown timer, too. I feel like it's worth mentioning that I've also included the famous SCE to AUX switch here which is the switch that saved the Apollo 12 mission. Really cool story. You should Google it. Okay. The DISCI keypad controls a four character alphanumeric display. You can punch in random numbers and letters for fun, or you can refer to the DISCI command code list here and activate nine different Apollo themed audio clips. The clips include classic lines from Apollo missions 11, 12, and 13 such as Finally, when you're ready for launch or landing, you can select either the Saturn V launch vehicle or the lunar lander. When you select your vehicle, the display lets you know which one is selected. Then, when you hit go, the countdown begins. The LED bar graph ticks away the countdown visually, while the quad alpha display shows the number of seconds left. At T minus zero. A status check in mission control. We're coming up all greens on the flight director's console. In Houston, everything looks good here on the ground. The engines of the ship you selected light up, and one of ten different audio clips from either Apollo launch or the moon landing will play. This was a really fun project to build. As usual, I learned a lot, broke some stuff, drove my family nuts, and had a great time doing it. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.